wondered what is the ultimate possible happiness state in this life so from one of the great people of the past who has realized this there's a saying known as in this world there's a paradise like the one in the hereafter whoever enters it has entered the real paradise but whoever does not enter it has not entered the paradise in the hereafter or whoever does not enter it will not enter the paradise of the hereafter the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has mentioned and indicated this paradise in his saying, when you come upon the pastures of paradise, feed on them. On being asked what these pastures of paradise were, he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied that these are the circles, these are the gatherings where Allah was remembered. So realize something, happiness, calmness, joy, peace and tranquility are all creations of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and are bestowed as blessings to human beings. So the one who bestows it has also given us certain promises around who he gives these blessings to and why and when. So one of the verses that he has in his kitab, in his book, Quran, says, مَنْ عَمِلَ صَالِحًا مِّنْ ذَكَرٍ أَوْ أُنْثَى وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٌ فَلَنُحْيَنَّهُ حَيَاةً طَيِّبَةً وَلَنَجْزِيَنَّهُمْ أَجْرَهُمْ بِأَحْسَنِ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ Whoever does righteousness, whether he be a male or a female, while he is a believer, we will surely cause him to live a good life. And we will surely give them their reward in the hereafter according to the best of what they used to do. So look, Allah has given us this notion of a good life. And the conditions are good righteous deeds, things that are beneficial, things that are approved and liked by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while being in a state of belief, trust, faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and maintaining all the pillars of the faith. Likewise, he says in another verse, مَنْ عَرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي فَإِنَّ لَهُ بَعِيشَةً ضَنْكَ and whoever turns away from my remembrance, indeed, he will have a depressed life. And we will gather him on the day of resurrection as a blind person. Now think about it. So the more we are heedless about Allah, about who he is, how he runs the world, how things are under his control, how everything that happens has a wisdom behind it, right? Now, if you, if you forget about all that and you're just dependent on yourself and your friends and your allies and you're always thinking about the physical aspect, the physical causes, right and you forget this divine intervention and you forget the spiritual side of things and you forget that Allah has a complete knowledge and Allah has a complete wisdom the way you would process the world worldly events the way you would process all these things and attribution around your emotions and your meanings about future and your meanings and expectations of the future will be totally different than the one who is aware of the control and power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and is aware of the ability as well as the weakness of the human being. That person will not compromise his relation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to achieve some worldly gain. That person would always be hopeful and would always realize that if something does not go according to his plan, then his plan is not better than the plan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he wanted something, he tried something, he worked very hard and it did not work out. He would remember and realize and internalize and reflect that hey, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a plan. He made this choice that this did not happen for me. This did not go the way I wanted it to go, but it went the way Allah wanted it to go. And Allah's plan and Allah's choice is much, much better for me than my own choice and my own plans. So these things, this state of awareness and this state of experiencing the paradise of this world comes by first purely singling out Allah for worship. We love Allah the most. Nothing, no one is most more beloved to us than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we do not contaminate our heart 
with the traits of polytheism. This will be explained more in the future episodes. Next is to discipline our desires to not fall into sins and staying away from heedlessness. Right? In a state of ghafla, heedlessness, not being aware of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not being aware that Allah is watching our actions and our words. Now, one of the severe consequences of this is that one starts thinking and believing and focusing on things that are untrue. He starts seeing the falsehood as the truth and vice versa. Right? This is the turning of the hearts. His heart is filled with doubts and desires and it just becomes upside down. That's a very extreme punishment to be in. So we ask Allah for a refuge from this state. And we ask Allah to continuously guide us. So next time when we are praying, we are asking Allah for guidance, especially in Surah Al-Fatiha, to remember that if Allah were not to keep us on guidance and were not to increase us in guidance, we could fall back. We could turn upside down. Our hearts could turn upside down. So we discussed those steps. Now it's time for you to really understand that and give it a shot and let us know how it works for you. If you know somebody else who is going through emotional stress, try it out with them. Explain it to them, help them ask these questions to themselves and help them channel their emotional energy into positive direction. Next, we wish to acquire many different things in this world. What are we truly and really doing to acquire the paradise of this life? How often do you think about your relationship with Allah? How often do you th remember Him? How do you remember him? What is the quality of that remembrance? How much remembrance actually happens in salah, in the prayers? How much remembrance actually happens when you're reading Quran? How often do you ask Allah to give you a goodly life? What one habit can you start today to achieve and make progress towards this state, towards increasing your friendship and your relation, strengthening your relationship with Allah? What one habit can you quit to achieve this state? Will you measure it? Will you review it? Why not?